Thank you, Matt. Well, for most people, the home is the biggest financial asset. So how do you go about selling that home when economic times are tough? Lauren Keim, a local realtor and author of How to Sell Your Home in Any Market, is with Eve in our studio this morning to share some tips. Good morning, Eve. Well, good morning, Hasia. Lauren, thank you so much for being with us this morning. For folks who don't know Lauren, he, of course, is the broker and president of Century 21 Keim Realtors here locally. Yep. And you have 25 plus years in the, in the real estate business. How did you get started in the writing business? Well, about two years ago, I saw that there was a need for a book on commercial real estate. There weren't very many of them out there, and there wasn't anything that I thought was good. So I wrote one on commercial real estate. It sold pretty well. And I followed it up with one on servicing clients. And then, of course, this book, I think, is going to be our most popular so far. Yeah. So this new book, How to Sell Your Home in Any Market, just, just out recently. Talk to us a little bit about the market right now. How hard is it to sell your home in this market? Well, Eve, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is houses sell every day in every part of eastern Pennsylvania. The bad news is you're not selling nearly as well as they did two years ago. And unfortunately, there are a lot more homes on the market today than there were over the last few years. So it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, there are homes selling, however. I sold three myself last week. Okay. But in the Lehigh Valley marketplace, as an example, last month in September, there were less than 450 homes sold. There were around 5,000 for sale. So in a given month like September, you only have a 1 in 11 chance of selling. So you have to make sure that your house is positioned correctly. You have to make sure it's priced right and staged to compete with other homes in the marketplace. And you have to make sure that your marketing is targeting the right likely buyers. Yeah, and let's talk about some of those those uh, points you just made a little bit more because you said there are some common mistakes that people may make in selling their homes, right? We're in this world right now where we're thinking money, money, money all the time, but selling your home doesn't just boil down to its price, right? No, it doesn't. You have to have it looking the best it possibly can. You're a commodity competing with other commodities in the marketplace. Nobody likes to hear that because everybody's home is unique. But the truth is, if you have a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath colonial in Parkland right now for sale, there are 60 or 80 of them for sale. And there are a lot of new construction homes out there as well. And you have to make sure you're positioned correctly, and you also have to make sure your show's a little bit better than what you're competing against. What are some of the other fatal errors that you've seen in your experience as a realtor? I know you've told, you mentioned in a little excerpt you sent me yesterday, you know, that dated uh, tile yeah. floor, or ceramic floor, all sorts of things, right? Uh, people, unfortunately, have the belief that anyone who's buying a house is going to want to decorate it the way they want it decorated and that they should make an offer on it. And if I can price it a little bit high, I have a little bit of room to negotiate. But the truth is a buyer's only going to make an offer on one house out of that 11 or 12 that are out there that you're competing against. So you have to make sure that it's priced perfectly. And you have to absolutely make sure that you have it looking the neutral, the most neutral you possibly can so that it matches the maximum number of buyers belongings, if that makes sense. Okay, sure. So you can fit any kind of decor in that house. Well, some great tips, Lauren. Of course, you can find out more, or you can find more tips in Lauren's new book, How to Sell Your Home in Any Market. And coming up in our next half hour, we want to hear from you. Email us your questions at sunrise at WFMZ.com, and we'll try to answer some of them. We already have questions coming in, so I hope you're ready. That sounds All great. All right, so Thanks. questions coming up when we return with Lauren. Stay with us. We're talking about how to sell your home in any market with our in-studio guest, realtor and author, Lauren Keim, this morning. And now it's time to answer some of the viewers' questions. Let's head over to Eve. Yeah. Good morning, Hasiel. Thank you to all of our viewers for some great questions this morning. Remember, you can always email us at sunrise at WFMZ.com. So, Lauren, if you're ready, let's uh, fire out some questions. This one is coming from a viewer in Whitehall. Is it really worth repainting my house in order to sell it? Won't buyers want to pick their own colors anyway? Why can't they just repaint? paint it when they buy it. Well, it's funny. When people sell a car, they usually wax it and wash it and they vacuum it out and make it look the best it possibly can. When you're selling a house, it's very, very important to make it look the best you possibly can because you are competing with other properties on the market. And most people don't want to have to do anything on the property that they're selling, but they will get more money for the house. A lot of our investors who flip property, buy houses, paint them white, put in cheap wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and resell them make a lot of money because they make the house look better, they make it look neutral. You can do that yourself. A gallon of paint is only about 25 bucks, yeah. but it can be worth $2,500 in the sales price of a house if it's applied effectively. Okay, so in some cases it's worth a, li a little bit of sweat to get some bang for your buck. Definitely. This question coming from Michael Schlosser, and he wants to know, is it better to put my home on the market now or wait until spring to sell it? Well, there's kind of two parts to that question. One is, is now a good time to sell? Uh, compared to the spring market. And obviously more buyers come out in the spring than come out in the fall or in the winter. 
However, there are still buyers in the marketplace that have to buy. There are still people with job relocations or divorces or getting out of apartments that need a home. And a lot of people take their homes off the market for winter, so you may actually have a better chance of selling in the winter than the spring. The other part of that is people tend to think if they wait until spring, they'll do a little bit better on price. That might be the next question, but the... Yeah, <laughs> does. Carrie Schlosser wants to know if prices will be back up to where they were last year if she waits until spring to sell her home. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Uh, 2006, Simple answer. Uh, obviously, uh, the prices have come down quite a bit since 2006. And with only one out of 11 houses selling in the Lehigh Valley marketplace a month and only about one in 20 in the Pocono marketplace a month, even if the market turns around tomorrow, and I do believe we're going to come into a decent spring, it's going to be probably two to three years before we'll see any price increases at all because the excess inventory has to be absorbed into the marketplace. It's supply and demand. Yeah, good point. So to sum up, Lauren, what's your best advice to someone who has a home currently on the market or who's thinking about listing their home in the near future? Make sure that it is priced absolutely perfectly. Uh, pay a, a typical commission to a realtor to try and attract them to show the house. Make sure it shows the best it possibly can and get it out in marketing in as many places as possible on the internet, on the multiple listing systems, and anywhere you possibly can. Great. Lauren Keim, local realtor and author of How to Sell Your Home in Any Market. Speaking of, where can we find this great book? It'll be out in about 10 days. It is online right now on Amazon.com, Borders.com. You can pre-order it at any local Borders. It's even on Target.com. Great. So well, congratulations. Right. Any ideas for a fourth book in the works? A uh, few. Okay. Okay, good. Well, we'll have you back on. Lauren, thanks so much. And Hasiel will send things over to you. All right. Thanks, Eve and Lauren.